Yo, what is up guys? This is Thundercat Gaming here today with a brand new Minecraft video and today I'm going to be doing my first ever how to build Minecraft survival house tutorial. Now this house is perfect for survival simply because it's made out of basic materials such as wood and cobblestone with a few glass and stone bricks. <laughs> now for this part of the video I want to aim for about 42 likes doesn't seem too too hard. Again, I want to thank you all so much for the love and support you have showed my channel and without further ado, let's dive on in. Now, honestly, one of my favorite things about this house is the flag with the little T right there with the blue and black, which really are my favorite colors to be honest, but without further ado, let's actually get into this build. First, let me convert it to day because that is going to drive me insane. So for, well, oh yeah, yeah. So I went ahead and blamed out the small foundations right here. I will hover over it and just let you all kind of copy that down. Uh, pause this video, go ahead and put down the basic foundation for the sake of time. So let us go ahead. I'm using the pick block to go ahead and pull the stuff out, but one, two, three, four. You're gonna wanna do up four. This is my first ever how-to tutorial and I'm so excited. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we get it, Thundercat Gaming. You're good at math. <laughs> Psych. Now, I love this house because, as we all know, I love to play on survival worlds such as Anarchy. Those are my favorite worlds, to be honest. And I just love playing survival. I don't know why. It's just more fun, in my opinion. I think that was really what Minecraft was intended for. It is kind of different, I will admit, being on creative, but it is a lot more efficient, uh, or on time anyway. But for the next step, you're going to want to lay the window foundations along right here, just with cobblestone all through there. And then these are where the doors are gonna be. You can use whichever doors you want. I will be using the just standard oak wood doors because I love pretty much every block in the fantasy texture pack, which is the texture pack I'm playing at right, or playing on right now. So let me grab a door. I just love the entire synopsis of this. It's just awesome. Okay, got that door. Also, I like to lay my doors facing um, that way because to me, I love the extra like detail of the door sticking out. Personally, that's just my opinion. If you don't like it, you can play it otherwise. <laughs> I don't really know. But you're then going to want to... You can even use dirt on this part. I just use wood because... It's not going to show anyway because it's going to be covered up by the stairs. However, it actually I think it shows inside the base, but if you're not big on interior, then don't worry about it. But this area is going to be a part of the extra detail along the roof to help kind of give more detail and a more appealing look. Because just because you're in survival doesn't mean your house can look bomb. So... Alrighty, and you can go ahead and fill all this in. I guess I'll just go ahead and do that for the sake to have it already over with. Honestly, sometimes I wish PS4 had command blocks, but then again. Ah. So what's all going on, you know? I've noticed a lot of people were commenting on my video like saying, wow, Thundercat Gaming, you really blew up. Um, I don't really know how to respond to that because I'm super grateful for it. I love literally everyone that subscribes to me that's super thoughtful i had a fan message me on playstation messages yesterday that i responded to it was super nice um i just i felt really happy about myself <laughs> but we're then going to to give it an ad effect because it does look kind of just gloomy and boring we're going to go around with it was not that one it was the spruce i believe yeah we're gonna go around with the spruce stairs simply because just the miscolored woods and then with the stone, they just look really, really good together. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> now, the only tricky part is on survival, it does kind of get, uh, I use stairs a lot in survival because I love making kind of modern day looking builds. It can get a little tricky, but now that they added scaffolding, it makes it so much easier. It's so, so nice. Like it is literally awesome. Like it's it's very nice. So let's lay these window panes. I'm really excited about this whole YouTube journey. It's been super fun. Literally going from a hundred subscribers to a thousand within two to three weeks was super 
shocking. Um, it did, you know, kind of make me nervous because I was so afraid, like, I wouldn't be able to make good videos for you guys. But at the end of the day, I'm here to have fun. That's what I'm doing. And, yeah. <laughs> Whenever YouTube emailed me was like congratulations on a thousand subscribers i was like that is that's awesome like i was just shook now this is also another tricky part and it drives oh did i just okay lit uh no it was oak i believe yeah wrong one sorry and then you're just gonna oak stairs you might have to crouch to get that one it's a little challenging to get than the rest of the house but yep okay Alrighty, now to give it a more added effect, we're going to build up with a different style of blocking, which would be the stone brick stairs. And just go along this outer area. Because a roof can really, and you look at any major Minecraft influencer or any major Minecraft YouTuber who does a lot of how to builds, if you look at their builds, they will literally swear by that the roof can make or break your house. And that is so true. Because without this sloped roof, I'm not going to lie, this base low-key looks kind of newbie. <laughs> it looks a little odd, but with the enhanced roof, it just makes it so much nicer. Oh, my bad. I cannot multitask. I'm trying to talk and like at the same time while like trying to hold this in too, but it's like not working. Now you're just going to fill this area in. It's really honestly just irrelevant. You could, I'm sure there is actually something I could figure out to do with this little area. Maybe put a few hidden chests, maybe. I didn't really think of that. <laughs> or actually, I, that was, never mind. I will talk about that later. Okay. I have these, like, conversations with myself. I just debate myself, basically. Yeah. So, one, you're then going to want to get the oak wood logs again, or birch wood logs, or logs of your choice, whichever you prefer. One, two, three, four, once again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Math is so hard, you guys. Like, I'm just, it's hard. Let me run and look at this. What? Oh, oh, I'm crazy. Okay. I forgot I did the birch hole, birch blanks things right here. All right, that's, okay. I originally think I'm going to change my upload date to Fridays. There have been numerous comments of wanting me to upload more. I am a full-time college student, so it does kind of make it a little tricky. However, I have so much fun on YouTube and it's it's amazing. It it's it's life-changing for sure. Um I know I'm still technically, I guess, considered a small channel. I don't even think I have a social blade yet, but I mean, hey, at the end of the day, I'm having fun and I will now be getting paid for my work. <laughs> Not work, um, I want to say more so as fun. But if you're interested in any kind of um, content creation, just hit me up in the comments. Just ask, you know, I'm always open. I always have my phone 24 seven. I'm always ready to answer a simple text on YouTube. I try to respond to most comments unless I've already responded a good bit, <laughs> but just ask me anything. Now I'm going to use the Birchwood stairs once again right here because you want to add that kind of illusion effect that not everything is the same especially when you look kind of up just the transition is to say if this were just a block it would well <laughs> it would look odd just it just looks too blocky but easily with stairs you could add a lot of effects stairs are really good to add extra detail super awesome now we're going to add these right here and the thing I like about the most recent updates in Minecraft it kind of fixed a lot of the issues with glass I know a lot of times this would actually be showing and they fixed that in one of the past few patch notes I have no idea when but that really helped out my building uh, tremendously let's see I'm hearing some like really strange noise in my mic and it sounds like the predator and I'm like really scared, but I'm going to keep videoing anyway. I'm pretty sure that's what happens when you get near the end portal. So I must be just close to it. Now did I already add, oh, I already added those. Okay. So I'm then going to once more get stone brick stairs. It's all coming along very nice. Going to go once again around here to create, like I've stated a million times, the whole edited appealing illusion 
with the illusion that the house is actually bigger than what it really is while maintaining beautiful structure. Honestly, I should be a architect. <laughs> um, Minecraft is just one of those games that really means a lot to me. And this is my very first how to build tutorial. I'm anxious to see how it goes. I'm really hoping you all love it. Just let me know in the comments what you all think about it, etc. Let's see. I actually have another channel that I've had that I will, it's more of a personal vlog channel. I will definitely release details soon. It has been a journey as well with that channel. However, my gaming channel is a lot bigger than that one. I will release the actual, I don't want to say credentials, but the actual facts about it later. <laughs> it has also been a journey <laughs> as I've stated. Being a college student and YouTube can be really challenging. Why does these sides look different? Am I crazy? You know what? It's fine. Let's see. Set back to day. That's honestly, that's really nice to be able to do that. I'm, I'm like not used to that at all. I'm so used to survival. Just having to like wait it out. So there you have it. A very nice, easy survival house. Super easy to build. Super simple super nice and super awesome let me know in the comments if you want me to do a quick interior design however i will go ahead and give you a tour of the interior inside of the other let me run over here with us now one of the things i love to do in minecraft is i try to keep lots of everything compact or not necessarily compact but more together now a lot of things that i actually incorporated into this base was Instead of using stairs to take up space, I just used jungle wood, made a room up here. This is where I could easily craft stuff if I needed to. Some diamonds over here dabbing. Oh, I wish I could dab. That would look so awesome. Oh, what did I just break? Oh, oh well. Um, That would be super awesome, actually, if I could just dab. On. Oh, Minecraft needs to add emotes. That would be so cool. Um, but I try to keep everything kind of together and compact. Like right here, I went ahead and utilized the cocoa beans. And outside, I even have wheat so I can easily make cookies, which is one of my go-to foods in survival. I also added this armor guy right here that I added the iron armor because it almost looks like the little squirrel emote guy skin pack. And so if someone were to see him from the side, they would think it was maybe someone just waiting around the corner. And another thing why I added the anvils right here is simply because if something were to happen or someone were to just break the door, if you just happen to come across a lovely troller, which I'm sure we all have in Minecraft before, you could, if they were to break the door, it would make it a little harder for them to get in or potentially kill them. That was a little brutal to be honest. And same thing for this side, it's super awesome. I have this nice little thingy right here. If I ever wanted to just listen to some jukebox music. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to break it, I'm so sorry. Now I feel bad. I have a little brewing station. I added for a little bit of compact storage, just stuff to make brewing stuff with. A little bit of extra potions right here, a potion in here. Really nice, just a few more things to hold on to. And I also like to keep all my storage together because it drives me insane and I have OCD. So that really helps out a lot. And also my favorite thing, the Thundercat Gaming Insignia flag. So guys, for this video, let's aim for about 42 likes. Doesn't seem too impossible. We've definitely hit way more than that. Let me know in the comments